October the 1st, 1949, and Chairman Mao has proclaimed the establishment of the People's Republic of China. Almost 67 years on, he still dominates Tiananmen Square in the heart of Beijing. His portrait over the gates of heavenly peace and his corpse in the mausoleum on the other side of the square where people come six days a week to pay their respects. But his legacy still divides opinion. Was he a tyrant or an idol? All my generation thinks he's a good man. The younger generation don't know him. Mao had good traits and bad, but there were more good than bad. His biggest mistake was the Cultural Revolution. That revolution began in 1967, when millions of his young foot soldiers, known as Red Guards, responded to his call to rid the Communist Party of dissent. But he lost control of the uprising he began. The purge of the party and mass killings would last until his death almost a decade later. There has never been a full accounting for the chaos of the Cultural Revolution or for Mao's most disastrous policy of all, the Great Leap Forward, his attempt to modernize China's economy that led to famine and, say some historians, the deaths of at least 45 million people. Zhang Lifan spent almost nine years in a labor camp from 1969, accused of counter-revolutionary crimes. Now Zhang is an historian who insists his views on Mao are impartial. Communists love Mao because Mao is the only source for their legitimacy. Even in internal party documents, Mao has been rated 30% bad and 70% good. Mao was never totally disapproved. China's current leader, Xi Jinping, also wants to unite the masses. He wore a Mao-style suit when he presided over a recent military parade in Beijing and often speaks out against what he calls hostile foreign forces, just as Mao once did. Now what we are seeing is a farce. Everyone is looking at his imitation of Mao as a joke. There's no way you can build another Mao. Because of the internet, people are not brainwashed anymore. Mao's image remains the Communist Party's most powerful symbol. And he's still a crowd puller. Each year, millions of Chinese come to pay homage in the village where he was born. And the crowd is expected to be very big today. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.